chest. Now my voice is flipping around. Wah! Nah! I'm terrified. <laughs> Upon looking at the analytics for my channel, I have realized that over 50% of you who watch my videos don't subscribe. Now don't worry, this is not a telling off, you are free to do whatever you want, but if you find yourself coming back to my channel and enjoying the content that I am providing, then please do hit that subscribe button. By clicking on that subscribe button, you are encouraging the growth of my channel, you are supporting my channel, and you are increasing its engagement. And of course, it allows me to spend more time producing great content for you. Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, but you can call me Jen. I'm a singer and a voice teacher, and it has been quite a while since I last reacted to Gigi Delana. I'm really excited. I have been meaning to do this ever since I first reacted to her. But we are here now and I will be reacting to and analysing her unholy performance. Yes, you heard correctly. This is a reaction and an analysis video. So we will be stopping and talking about the vocals. If you'd rather watch the full thing uninterrupted, then go ahead and click on the link I've left for you in the description below. If you do enjoy what I do over here, then please do consider checking me out over on Patreon as well. But let's get straight to it. Right, before we actually do let <laughs> Gigi Delana sing, um, I love how uh, real live it feels. Um, and also we heard a, oh, a scream, <laughs> right? A call out. Is it just to, you know, set her up in the right quality? Is it just for fun? I think it's a bit of a mixture of both, but anyway. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know if she wanted to come in there or not, but she chose not to because she was wanted to, wanted another round of everyone. Well, I love, I love that it just changed the feeling there. Whoa, this is really cool. I didn't know, I don't know what to expect when we go in this. This is a, a different kind of quality from last time as well. Um, I love this kind of playfulness. She's really playing around with the um, positioning of her larynx. She's actually lifting it a little bit to get that kind of like cartoon feel. Uh, and it's like really bright. Basically what happens <laughs> when we lift up the larynx, we are shortening the vocal tract. So the journey from the larynx and then out. We are just bringing it up a little bit. So shortening. So, so we're brightening that sound. And she's playing with that, manipulating that kind of sound as she plays through this passage. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. yeah, you can hear on the sharp, like that, ah, kind of has a little bit of that twang feel. Um, everything's really punchy though. We're getting clean vocals. There's a bit of a dip there. Yeah, and there's like really heavy there, right? There we get a lovely anchor point on the duh. Uh, and it's really like, it's kind of uh, very cartoon, like kind of baby-esque as well. But it's just having fun and playing with it. I am here for this. This is such a cool version. I love how she's, you know, we had that at the beginning already there. She's kind of manipulating where she's, play, you know, the larynx position, playing around with the vocal timbres in here. In here, she's really, even though she's kind of maintaining in this like, ah, 
placement, like the, uh, a higher kind of larynx place. She's still playing around with it. She's drawing us in. She's kind of playing around the dynamics and the breath quality within the vocals as well. It really draws us in. And that glottal on there, ever, ever knew. She purposely comes off of it to attack it separately rather than ever, ever knew, like she, to, you know, keep it going, keep it legato flow. She's actually breaking it up to include a breath in there as well. But also it just adds in this kind of disjointed, not disjointed feel, but just kind of like, it just, it doesn't sound all pretty. It's very kind of spoken led. And here, oh, I know I broke her uh, the line there. There's a slight flip as well. So what's happening? She's maintaining really lovely, great vocal fold closure. It's all very, very connected. And then suddenly she just lets breath come through. So we get like a, ah, breath, yeah, no. And then she comes back and connects. The strength and agility to move that fast with the vocals is so cool. But all the she's really like yodeling in there that was really cool she's really like but also it's kind of not like a duh back she's driving that energy energy forward so we kind of get a little crackle within the voice as well duh, like it's kind of really present that like uh. Oh, this is so cool. I love this feel of it. And yeah, she's really, again, playing with the breath quality here. Notice at the end when we uh, we um, became a lot fuller sounding with the clean. What knows that? And how you don't know how to keep your business clean. Right, A flat there, A flat four, clean. She's dropping that jaw rather than clean, which maybe would have gone similar to a quality that we had before. Um, but now we want to get a much more fuller sound and much more of a chest dominant chest. Now my voice is flipping around, but chest dominant sound. Clear. She's just dropping it and going much more onto an A kind of vowel. She's also leaning away from the mic. Everything so far has been really, really close. I don't want to get too loud, but everything <laughs> so far has been really, really close. So we can hear those tiny little afflictions she's, she's doing with, uh, you know, the clean uh, connected vocal folds, then releasing that uh, breath and getting all those like yodel points. We want to make sure the mic can pick up on this. Here, it's much more full of sound. She's leaning back. I love it. Her core is engaged. And how you don't know how to keep your business clear. She's looking at the camera. She knows what she's doing. I'm here for this. <laughs> uh, what's also interesting as well, she's really using that breath for the character effect of the story. You know, it is a sexy song, <laughs> right? So she's kind of portraying that with the breath at the end of the phrases, hearing all the, like the <laughs> breaths behind out of context sounds really really weird but in this as uh, she's singing and then coming off of the notes is really really cool she's you know it's not like she's just singing and then she takes a break in between the phrases she is still within that mind frame of the story uh, it's just so great so punchy it's different kind of from the uh, i'm so intrigued by the verses because it sounded so broken as well but so controlled Like, <laughs> that sound, uh, this is what I mean. Like, she's got such a beautiful, um, like, connected voice. She's allowing it to break on purpose for the per point of this song and the point of her performance of this song. And it goes so well. It's so good. I love how on this, 
uh, I think it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, the, I think the original goes something like that. I can't think of the original in my head. But she has a little bit of that. But other, like a little bit of a flip. Ah, uh, like, again, going into um, a falsetto where that breath's coming through. We can hear those vocal folds flip and break into that quality. But otherwise, everything else has just got such a moan to it. And what that moan brings as well is it ensures that we are resisted within the vocal folds and we have um, that clear connected sound not letting that breath go through so it's kind of really playing and balancing and and pairing up really lovely uh, again this is that brokenness <laughs> She is so good. <laughs> like this is so different. Again, she's she uh, is maintaining the same quality throughout this whole section of again the shorter vocal track, kind of like um, cartoon esque, brighter feel. It really drives that energy forward rather than kind of sink back. It's like not a like when we think of a dark sound and it's warm and rich and everything, this is like the complete opposite. We are pushing it up. Um, you know, it's it's a bright sound. It's very direct and it fits so well with the character that she's going for. I am obsessed with this broken sound though, you guys. <laughs> like we have to be careful when we push our uh, vocal folds to the extreme, which this in this case it is because, you know, she's playing around with the distortion as well, which is fab. But it's this brokenness when we're going from... Um, thin quality breathy kind ofness in there then going to the uh thick vocal folds different to a yodel it's kind of really like pushing it forward um and we have to be careful when we play with that but if she is she's got such control like you can hear after how connected she is and how she's not hurting herself and she's just letting herself go and feel wherever she wants to go <laughs> this is so good that grit Like, uh, that's so spoken, like, drama, like, just throwing it around. This needs heaps of that in here. But did you hear that? Nah, nah, like, right there, nah. There's a little bit of that grit in there. Uh, just dropping that jaw, allowing that grit to kind of push forward. She is someone who's worked well, uh, like, on her craft. It's so fascinating. like that distortion in there and again she's leaning back what this kind of does like she sat down whilst doing this as well which is incredible i think i get questions all the time and um you know is it is it trickier to sing sat down every singer is going to be different so there's lots of different factors within it if you think about it when we're sat down um the point of contact that we're anchoring like we kind of we, we don't have it on our feet anymore it's our bum <laughs> um it's whatever we're sat on so we have to, that's what we're pushing against we're anchoring from but also if we kind of sat like this then think about all the tools that we need for our body to be involved um they're going to be crumpled as well so we just need to make sure that we're sat right that it makes sense but look when she's leaning back if you all just where you're ever, wherever you're sat if you just lean back I can only go so much. Um, but your core starts engaging. You can feel like your uh, core muscles engage. So she's kind of using that here as well to make sure that she's remaining on this tone, this quality that she wants. I'm obsessed. C sharp, yeah, she put it down slow. Like again, stretching out. She's not getting. She uh, has increased with volume because we're kind of like yelling here. It's a controlled yell, but she's not throwing lots of heaps of volume up there in order to get it. Look again. She's kind of her arms are dropped down. Her face is like she's not reaching right. She's doing this da da da, like just dropping that jaw and uh, really allowing this twine to cover to 
ping forward and help her with the volume that she wants. But otherwise, she's just kind of, it's a controlled yell. That's what a belt is at the end of the day. We're not screaming, we're not blowing our vocal folds. But I love this distortion. There is so much going on. And notice how clear that is. Like, even though she's just thrown heaps of distortion and grit in her vocal folds, she's still so clean and clear when she wants to be. Oh, it's so good. Um, and I get like when she play when you play around with the the shape inside of your mouth, like where the tongue's positioned, it changes obviously the vowel shape, it changes the sound. She's also kind of playing around with uh outside of her mouth, like her nose, like bringing up there. It's it's just everything matches well with what she wants to do vocally. She is so good. Oh wait, let's just watch this and then we'll watch this whole part uh in one. I love how she's like shush. <laughs> shush, shush. This is the part I want to do that I talked about. Or maybe she didn't even talk about. It. She was just like, guys, I got something. Shush. <laughs> um there is heaps of vocal fry in this section. So what's happening? That's a slack quality within the vocal folds. Uh lots of vocal fry here. It's a very intimate sound. It draws us in. It's very quiet. We can only increase the volume so much on this quality. Something on I'm terrified. <laughs> it's like she's got this uh, in a demon voice that just wants to come out and just ah, uh, oh, it's so good. Um. Yeah, the, the how at the end of that kind of vocal fry section where she kind of became really quiet, she regained the strength within her vocal folds, the connection that like, kind of came together, thrown heaps of that distortion in again. Like like I said uh, a couple minutes ago, you know, we've got to be careful when playing around with this voice. Play around with it, though. Don't be scared of this voice. This is such an exciting area of one's voice. If you, this is something that you want to play around with, go for it. If you start feeling like you're hurting yourself, maybe you're pushing too hard, take a break. You know, baby steps, we're not going to get it straight away, um, as in like to where you want it to go. But definitely play around with it if it's something that you want to go. I would say mimic this sort of sound. You know, we hear this sort of sound, well, maybe not everywhere, but like we, we hear it from singers like this or just from characters, uh, loved characters that kind of use this kind of distorted sound. Play around with it. It's, it's heaps of fun. And that breath. Ah, that guitar sound as well that came in. Wow, what 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 even happened there? Yeah <laughs> not there. <laughs> I think she's hovering around a G5 A flat four up there. It's kinda it's it's a very it's a thin sound the vocal folds are thinning out right when we are ascending in pitch when we're getting higher what happens with our vocal folds is that they are stretching out and they're thinning out they are getting long and uh thin ah! so we have to respect those vocal folds we are not going to bring up so much thickness up there because it just doesn't belong we would rip out and hurt our vocal folds um and again, she's kind of doing this with her face. She's not reaching. She's just allowing it to shoot up there. She's got a glorious head voice as well. We need to make sure our head voice is developed in here because this is a stunning mix. And what's make what's helping her maintain this fuller sound is the twang, is the resistance within the vocal folds, is also the distortion that's happening as well because that's another effect that's happening. Um, but it's also this light spoken like feel. She's really stretched her vocal folds and they feel so good. I imagine this was a lot of fun. Um, singing, performing, grooving. <laughs> this is so good. And yeah, that match with the guitar. Has she still got an 
earpiece in my god like that's a, <laughs> she's got must have <laughs> great um uh balance in her in-ear monitors because like that's loud <laughs> um i yeah i love the a similarity between her voice her tone and the guitar really coming in there it's beautiful <laughs> I love ah, like that passage is so fun and again just open vowels just like she's just gone from yes there's adding distortion but then it's that broken feel on top I cannot stress enough how amazing that is then to go back to this clean clear quality I am shooketh Uh, you can hear it. Ah! She's really, as she's ascending, she's pushing forward that distortion again as well. It's like when you play around with it, I, it's just so, when it rings in a place that feels comfortable and good for you, you're going to be having fun. You're going to be enjoying it. So of course you're going to be going back there and singing in that area and just pressing that forward. Uh, it just, it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> she's so good i just want to hear this last part again um again the hearing like flips within her vocals uh kind of flipping from a uh thicker folds into thinner folds we're getting that yodel effect again and these musicians are incredible as well like just it just seems like a proper chill jam session and they're just enjoying the musicianship and just the performance of it all all even when Gigi Delana isn't singing she her mind is solely on this performance that's all she's focusing on she is in it and we're enjoying it <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I love it that was so fab like, I just love how she just, you know, it's not only like we enjoy what, like she, you can clearly tell she's having so much fun singing this. That's <laughs> so good. Uh, that little break is so good. Well, where to next with Gigi Delana? There is so much to look at. I am intrigued. Let me know in the comments below where, what you'd like me to check out next. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this reaction and analysis video. Please do hit that subscribe button, the bell button and the thumbs up button. And I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye.